Hi, everyone, and welcome to Strategic Wealth Strategies Podcast with our host, Alan Porter. Alan, what's going on, man? How are you? Doing real well, Neil. How you doing? Fantastic. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited always to talk with you. And uh, today our topic is going to be, Alan, what is our topic today? Well, I want to go over some common tax deduction and credits, tax credits for the year 2024. And uh, a lot of people don't know about these things, but it's it, it's going to make a big difference uh, in your in your I mean, your financial future, because it's going to give you more money if you know how to use these deductions and tax credits. OK, what are some of those deductions, Alan? Well, just like if people are working, you've got uh, child independent care uh, tax credits. Now, understand a tax credit comes straight off your taxes that you pay. A tax deduction is just a portion. Uh, I mean, if you got $1,000 in tax deductions, well, it takes $1,000 off your adjusted gross income. But let's say you have $1,000 in taxes. A tax credit will take off, if it's for $200, now you only owe $800 in taxes. It's a huge difference, and people need to know this. But uh, you've got child and dependent care uh, tax deduction. This is a nut, one I didn't even know about. It's an a, uh, adoption credit. And then, of course, the child uh, tax care credit. And that can be for people that, especially lower income people, with a lot of kids, they may, have, may not even be paying any taxes at all. What are some of, uh, what about educational expenses, Alan? Well, you've you got uh, like student loan interest is uh, tax deductible. Then you've got the American Opportunity Tax Credit and also the learning uh, tax credit that people need to be, be aware of, especially for kids in college. That's that's huge. You know, you look about those different deductions. Those are things that they, people forget about, don't they, Alan? Absolutely. They're not thinking about things like that. What about interest on your home? Well, of course, you've got uh, interest on your mortgage that you can take off. Um, something that people aren't aware of. That You know, a lot of people, if they don't have 20% to put down on their house, they have to have private mortgage insurance. Now I see that's deductible. And then you, you've got home improvements, if, especially when it, uh, you go to improve your home with energy efficient, uh, you know, like appliances or just like myself. Lately, I had to put a new in new heat pump in. I got a two thousand dollar credit on that. And I didn't know about it until the, the, sell, the salesman told me about it. But there's many things out there that people need to understand and take advantage of. Totally. Absolutely. Because if you don't, and that's where you go down that line, especially if you have your accountant and ask, make sure that they're asking, you ask all the questions, maybe even open up, you know, a, a, a turbo tax, a free turbo tax edition or whatever, and go through the whole thing to understand what you can deduct. Cause sometimes your accountants miss that stuff. Yeah. Another thing I forgot to add is your local uh, uh, property tax your sales tax, their tax deduction also. What about medical expenses, Alan? Well, medical expenses can basically bankrupt a person, but they are tax deductible. And one thing that people don't realize, they can set up a health savings account. What's so great about this, if you're in a business or if you're working for somebody and you set up a health savings account and you move to somebody, some other employer, you can take that health savings account with you. And when you use it, it's a tax deduction for, medical, for qualified medical expenses. And then also when you uh, turn 65, you can use it that time at that time too. It's a great uh, uh, kind of a medical expense that people aren't taking advantage of. What advice can you give about retirement planning and taxes, Alan? Oh, Neil, this is where people are just completely wrong. Because we've got a 401k or an IRA that's the primary retirement for people in the United States. And I asked people, I said, why do you contribute to your 401k or your IRA? Said, well, it's a tax deduction. I said, no, it's a tax compounder. And you're going to be writing. If you, if you think taxes are going up. Now, I've said this before on this show, Neil. A congressional budget office report last fall on a $31 trillion deficit. They said, if you, we do not raise taxes overall by 66% by the year 2030, we can even pay the uh, interest on the debt and the country will go bankrupt. Well, guess what? Now that that debt is over $34 trillion. And uh, so taxes have got to go up. And people tell me, well, I'm going to be in a lower tax bracket. 
Well, I don't think so because you've lost your deductions for usually your home's paid for. Your kids are not at home anymore. Uh, but people need to understand there's going to be a lot of uh, expenses in in retirement that you don't have now, especially for grandkids. I spend a lot of money on my grandkids, and I love to. But here's the other thing, too. Uh, people are not aware of the extreme cost of medical expenses. It is said the average 65-year-old will need over 300, uh, a couple will need over $315,000 for their tax, uh, tax, not their tax, but their medical expenses, and that's going up every year. But the other thing when I talk to people about, you know, you, you say you've got a tax deduction. Well, ha- would you write a check to somebody that says, okay, you don't have to pay it back until a certain time, but that te- when you do that, I'm going to tell you what interest rate you're going to pay me. Nobody would sign that check. And that's exactly what's happening in our retirement plans today. And the other thing people don't understand, Neil, a 1% fee in a 401k over a 30-year period will reduce their income by one-third. And the average fee in a 401k is 2.99%. People are going to have less than half of their money. And then on top of that, when you get put in these tax brackets, now you've you've already been reduced by one-third or one-half. But now taxes come in. So now you've got to be taxes that may reduce that net income by another 20 to 50% and possibly more. People need to understand that there's financial vehicles out there that will eliminate the tax risk. I mean, that's just some of the risk in retirement, Neil, the tax risk, the government risk, running out of money before you run out of life. And I show people how they can have a tax-free income, but very few people know about the, uh, the insurance companies have the best tax code approved, tax-free retirement system available today, and it gets rid of the many risk in retirement that a stock portfolio will only compound, such as the number one fear in life in retirement is running out of money before you run out of life, uh, sequence returns risk. Many people don't know about this, but it will decimate your retirement. Uh, a savings account, I mean, a savings account or a stock portfolio cannot do this. Longevity risk, which is a risk multiplier. But it gets rid of government risk, tax risk. I mean, th- the list goes on and on, Neil, and people need to understand about this. But the, the one thing I, I want to tell people, and there's many deductions out there, and a lot of them I didn't even cover. But you need to consult a professional, whether it's talk, talking about your taxes or your financial or your retirement. And I have people tell me, all, well, my, my brother did this, or my neighbor did that. I said, well, first thing, question I ask him, Neil, I said, <laughs> What's your brother or neighbor do for a living? I said, would you go to, uh, if you had to have heart surgery, would you want your brother or sister, I mean, brother or neighbor to do it? Obviously not. But you don't want your family doctor to do that either. You want a cardiologist, a specialist in their field to do that. And that's what I have, Neil. I'm a specialist in my field. And the other things I people I tell people, I said, I, I work or collaborate with top CPAs, tax-specific attorneys, and other specialists in their field to, to give the uh, financial solutions for people's financial problems. Not everybody can know everything. And I always have people, especially affluent clients, well, my CPA, my, my tax attorney, and my, uh, uh, my advisor give me all my tax and, and, uh, and financial advice. I said, listen, I'm not here to replace any of your advisors, but you may have the greatest advisors in the world but it's what they don't know that's going to end up costing you hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in taxes that they're not aware of and fees. I mean, it's just a matter of education, Neil. And that's what I do. Is I educate my clients on things that they're not aware of. No, you definitely do. And that's that's so important. And that's why I work with you, Alan, because I trust you with my retirement. I trust you with protecting my life because ultimately – the, the cash value life insurance is a lot better move than term life where, yes, it's protecting your life. Yes, it could be more money. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to invest in this and then it's going to be a worthwhile thing for you, especially when term life insurance runs out. Cash exactly. value is not going to. Yeah. And you're and you and you have money when it's finished. It's just like, uh, you know, people I asked them, I said, you know, why do you put money into term life insurance? Well, it's cheaper. I said, well, I understand it's cheaper. And a lot of people don't even think they need insurance in retirement. That is a, that's terrible advice because cash value life insurance, long-term care will affect so many people. 
And long-term care right now costs between fifty to two hundred thousand dollars a year, and going up by six percent every year. And you can use the death benefit in a cash value life insurance policy, completely tax-free, to offset those expenses. And if you don't understand, seventy percent of Americans are going to need long-term care at some point in their life. Sixty-four percent of Americans are between the ages of 18 and 64 are on long-term care right now. And I know this for a fact because I had to put my brother in a nursing home. Uh, he's, got, he's got Alzheimer's. The, the state patrol caught him going down the interstate in the wrong direction. And they arrested him, called his, his daughter up to come and get him. He didn't know what he's doing. And, and that's very hard to do, put, put a loved one in a nursing home. But you know, people need to become educated on things out there and think outside conventional financial planning because they're not going to tell you about this stuff. At least, at least the ones I have uh, talked to, because they don't know, and they're not licensed to sell the product. No, they're they're definitely not licensed to sell the product, and uh, it's important. And you are the guy. So, for example, just to let you know that he's not your average uh, person that sells cash value life insurance annuities and plant financial planning. Alan has all is busy all the time. To get a hold of Alan, you got to get on that line right now and call 910-551-1046 to schedule a call with Alan today or email him at strategicwealth0@gmail.com. at gmail.com. Because Alan, you are, you're on calls all day long. You're helping people all the time. And you personally get to talk with Alan Porter. It's not somebody else that's not trained. You have this experience, you understand this industry, and you continually learn this industry. Being part of certain books, by going to all the, the workshops, you just really educate yourself to become better at what you do, don't you? That's what I try to do every day. I'll, people ask me, well, when are you going to retire? I said, and I'm 70 years old. I said, as long as I have a healthy mind, I have a passion and desire to help people because of the tragic things that happened to my family. And you know that. All right. And again, check him out. And soon he'll be having a new website that'll have blogs up, everything. And check him out on all the social media platforms and now live streaming. So if people saw the little shorts that we've been showing, now you get the full thing on his social media and more to come. Appreciate it, Alan. You bet. Take all right. Care. That was Strategic Wife Strategies podcast, guys. Take care.